Every leader belongs to society. And every leader wants mourn about the bad looks of his society. Every leader wants to criticize the ruling of a leader. Leaders should handle their position with humility and know that the people they are leading are as important as they are. Our brains get polished with ideas when they crave for our votes. Every line of every speech is meant to soften our hearts and waken our hopes. In their hearts we are fools to be comforted with malnourished promises. The sense of purpose should overshadow the sense of identity. Leaders are blessed with the ability to pull out huge crowds from different walks of life. Within that crowd, some are friends, relatives, even many share the same social ties. Eventually, most of the leaders usually break these attachments. You come in between friends, families, and relatives making them exchange insult and throw unpleasant words on one another. At this fair, you have found a smooth, well-organized, and a peaceful society and turn it into a violent and divisible environment. If you can add more moral values to societies, please kindly leave it as it is. See, sometimes I blame them not, for power belongs to the people. We select them. Elect them. Empower them to become dictators to eventually divide us which hunters torture us and dump us till next elections when they would again paint our minds and rub our palms with chicken change which can't sustain us for two days it weakens my soul when they speak arrogant fire higher and do things as they solely desire when our taxes used to feed them clothe them educate their kids abroad and buy makeup for their wives on their knees they should kneel to comfort us they were elected and meant to serve us we pay their bills. We are a whole, and their personal intentions shouldn't divide us. A patriotic leader who claims to put his motherland first would base his strength in any city or tribe. A leader should rather promote peace and unity than separation or ethnic dominance. Our heroes are probably shaking in their graves because this is not what they actually fought for. The question is, if this is the button we want to pass to the next generation, then what would they actually become? Usman Baji usually says, whenever we allow our hearts to control our minds, we will always be vulnerable. Power belongs to the people. And you can only be a better leader if you put us first. This has featured all kinds of leaders, whether leaders of nations, or leaders of any domain of life, BJ Academy, the Gamian Shadow, peace.